$10,000 on gear and can't even keep a damn beat. It's the real Howard Yates. It's speaking in drums. And hey. I'm going to be doing our little test drive today on a pair of sticks that I've been waiting to try out. These are the Vader 5B models. And if you can see that, there they are. Oh, there they are. Yeah. On the podcast, if you're listening to this, I'm going to talk a little bit about it. But also, I want you to check out the YouTube video, which is, of course, The Real Howard Yates speaking in drums. And you will see some videos of me playing this on the practice kit that I have behind me. I've done a couple of videos on that. So what you're going to hear today is going to be me taking these sticks for a test drive in this stick shift segment of speaking in drums. I'll try to save you the trouble by cutting it down a little bit. All of the excess stuff that happens, like all of the, you know, take 57 of the paradiddle groove or something like that. So you won't see or hear all of that mess. <laughs> Let's get going. Right there oh we're right there hey i hope you enjoy the video segment that i put together for you and again it's just me practicing on these pads back here so eventually this will start to shift and change to where we're playing on the live kit in another studio that i'm working with right at the moment again as we've talked about before hickory is durable um doesn't have as much shock to your hands so it doesn't fatigue your hands nearly as much and it's trusted to be a good wood for flooring that's because if you have high traffic areas, this stuff is going to hold up. So, anyways, notice the tips. They're not barrel tip. I don't know what these are called anymore. I'm so out of the loop. Okay, let's just say they're kind of a teardrop and not acorn. Okay, just not that sharp. If you really just want a good, versatile overall stick, typically the 5B lines of just about any stick are like that. But once I got warmed up with these, it really um, brought out some good stick definition as you just heard on some of the stuff that I was playing. If you're doing diddles, accents, playing around the kit, playing around the toms, um, this really does slam. A good versatile stick, highly recommended. Not as heavy as the Power or Fatback 3A models, but this is something I would use probably in most situations, if not all of them, simply because it is so well balanced from butt to tip, right? In comparison to things like Vic Firth 5Bs, I really, or even a Zildjian 5B, I'd have to really do a video testing out all three. What I would recommend on this, even though it's got this gloss on here, the thin gloss that's on these sticks, you may want to consider having a pretty good warm up beforehand, uh, simply because I had a little trouble at first with it, but I just kind of had to get acquainted with it. I was a little rusty, needed to work out the kinks a little bit, but I would still recommend having a good warm up put in before. You try to play this like if you're doing a live show or anything like that. I do want to say thank you for liking, subscribing. If you comment, that's great. Again, Vader has commented on one of my videos, so you should too. <laughs> I am 
the real Howard Yates. This is Speaking in Drums. This is the test drive stick shift episode of the Vader 5B hand-selected hickory. I will see you later. Shut up! <laughs>